How's everyone doing? Today's project is uh, how to properly set the height of the scraper bar. Now, as you can see this one, I don't know if I can even get you close enough to the ground. And I can't get you quite ground level due, due to my tripod. But um, the uh, end of this scraper bar right here is actually pretty much sitting flat right on my garage floor. So, um, the reason why we don't probably want it like that uh, is that if you're doing your driveway or your sidewalks and there's a little bit of a hump or it's not completely flat in one particular spot, there's a good chance you might run into that high spot with that scraper blade. So typically what you'd want to do, uh, I mean some people do set it up like that anyways, knowing that they might hit those areas once in a while but um, it's probably better off just for longevity um, to go ahead and move this blade up a little bit off the ground. I like to use about an eighth of an inch. What I actually use is just this little piece of, uh, I don't know, styrofoam cardboard type stuff. It's about an eighth of an inch. So what you would do is just lift up your machine slide that piece underneath there so now you would see that there's a bit of a gap between the scraper bar and the ground and it, let's say you have a gravel driveway uh, you might want to move, move that up even a little bit more maybe a quarter inch three-eighths of an inch just so that you're not throwing rocks all over the place so the next thing you're gonna do to keep that there because as soon as I take that styrofoam out, obviously it's going to go back down, is to adjust the uh, skid shoes on the sides of your um, your blower. Alright, so what you're going to want to do is then to loosen off these two nuts. Mine happen to be 14 millimeter nuts. And you don't have to take them off all the way, just loosen them on both sides. enough so that you can actually drop that shoe because the shoe was up sitting up just about like that now we're gonna sit the shoe on the uh, ground and tighten those back up now these shoes are made to be replaced they're actually wear wearable parts and uh, I'll see if I can get you a closer view but this bottom part is actually worn down uh, compared to this top part so you actually they're actually designed so that you can actually go ahead and flip those around and reverse them and get basically double the length uh, out of the life of those things so just tighten them up a decent amount and you do that on both sides so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that but this bottom uh, plate here is actually quite a bit thinner than this top plate so probably one more winter and those will have to get moved switched around so you just do the same thing over here on this side you can see that there's about an eighth of an inch gap right now which corresponds to the skid plate on the bottom or sorry the uh, scraper bar on the bottom now the other reason why we don't want the scraper bar up constantly rubbing is you'll rub that away and these shoes they are easier to replace and that's what they're designed to do anyway so probably not a bad idea to keep this scraper bar off the ground just a little bit now yes okay maybe it's gonna leave a small amount of snow behind on your driveway but you're always gonna have a bit of snow left behind anyways If you don't want as much snow, then just put in something that's a sixteenth of an inch, whichever your pleasure is. So now, when I take this spacer out, the shoes will actually be what rides on the ground and gets worn away. And you can see my scraper bar is actually up and off the ground just a little bit. So uh, anyways guys, uh, hopefully that was informative for you. If you like the video, go ahead and please hit the uh, like button and the subscribe button. It really helps me out on the channel. And until next time, guys, 
Take care.